There are 157 Division III athletes headed to Columbus this weekend from our area, and two of them are from LCC, Michael Rogers and Jameer Coleman. The senior duo has been the driving force behind the Thunderbirds' successful track season, and they've got one more meet at Jesse Owens to show what they can do. Matt Finkel has their stories in the OIO Prep Profile. Rogers and Coleman will be competing in four events each this weekend, the 100, the 200, the 4x200 relay, and the long jump. I'm going to try to win all of them, obviously, but long jump's definitely going to be the funnest. You got, you know, me, Jameer, uh, Chase Cook from LB. We're going to have a lot of fun. It's going to be a big show. One thing I'm looking forward to is definitely the long jump. It's going to be a great competition, a great rematch between uh, me and Michael. Michael placed first in the long jump last year with Jameer second. For years, they both have helped make each other better. They push each other all the time. Um, they're extremely competitive with one another, but during even during um, tournament runs, they do nothing but help each other and encourage one another. Look at Jameer Coleman. He's in the lead. Rogers is second. Can Mike Kale catch Jameer? He's trying to. For almost my entire childhood, it's just like he's great at, like, at what he does, and definitely being around him definitely pushed me a whole lot this season. Definitely no days off because, I mean, you're always a, an inch or two away from being runner-up, and no one likes being runner-up. They'll be running against each other in the 100, but it's as teammates in the 4x2 that they've commanded extra attention. Rogers anchored for the T-Birds as they set a new state record in 127.63 at regionals. We weren't expecting a state record by any means. We were expecting to win, but, I mean, 127 was just, it was just our day. I, I knew, like, the race was going really well for us, but I didn't realize it was going to be a state record. It will be tough to duplicate such a performance, but Jesse Owens is the perfect venue for one last showcase. Jesse Owens Stadium is just an absolutely amazing facility to do this in. It's just it's electric. It, there's so many people there. The fans are great. It, it's just an amazing atmosphere to be in, and we can't wait to be down there. You, the best talent in the state, regardless of division, is sitting right there, you know, watching the track meet. So, I mean, you obviously want to give everybody what they came to see. Being around a bigger crowd is just pumps me up a little bit more. My adrenaline runs a little bit more, made me perform a whole lot better. Coleman will run track at Akron in the fall and room with LB long jumper Chase Cook, while Michael is headed to Toledo for football. And for both, it's hard to believe that this will be their last high school track meet. I mean, it'll probably sink in, you know, after my last event but right now. And it doesn't seem like it's real. Mainly for them, I want them to go down and I want them to enjoy their last state tournament together. Yeah, they've been pushing each other for the last four years, so I just want them to be able to go down and enjoy it and hopefully come back with some hardware. At Lima Stadium, I'm Matt Finkel with the Sports Report.